Hello friends and welcome back to our Fast API tutorial. In this video, which is number 12, we are going to talk about cookie and header parameters. Um, so this is this first part is going to be uh, fairly simple, fairly straightforward. This video is hopefully going to be fairly short. Uh, so let's just get right into it. We're going to declare a route and we're just going to call this read items. Cookie ID is going to be a string or none equals cookie none. And we will return cookie ID, cookie ID. Okay. We have this unresolved reference cookie. Uh, like I've said before, we can import it from here. And we can import it from, um, 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 let's see, let's import header as well, because we're going to be doing that in just a second. Okay, I'll hit save and refresh the, the, the app. And then let's go ahead and refresh our page up here. There, and we've got our route. Okay. Okay, so that, um, that is fairly simple and fairly straightforward. That's how you pass in a cookie parameter. Uh, let's go ahead and add a, uh, a header parameter as well while we're here. Um, and let's call this, um, let's say, uh, you know what? I'm going to come in here and I am just going to pick a header parameter. Let's try this out. We'll hit execute. And there we go. Now let's look at all the available headers. So let's pass in accept encoding. Um, is going to be a string or none, which is a header parameter, and we'll set it to none. Let's say, um, I don't know what this one is. I've never seen that before. Oh, I've, I've seen it before. Okay, and let's do user agent string or none equals header none. There. And now let's, um, let's pull in, let's see, or let's return, um, accept encoding is going to be accept encoding. We're going to see, or we're going to set this. This might not work. I haven't actually tried this yet. I'm curious to see if this will work. And let's try user agent is user agent. Now, we'll go back into here. Let's oh, scroll down a little bit. There we go. Let's refresh our page. Try this out. And hit execute. And there we go. We get all of this fun stuff. We didn't have to actually put anything in here. Um, this is actually, you know, it's pulling the headers um, off of off of our request here. And it's just, you know, it's returning those values. And the thing that we notice is that we're passing these things in as underscores with lowercase values. But what the, um, what the header um, object in uh, FastAPI is able to do is actually convert those into, um, you know, into capitalized where it needs to be. You can see accept encoding has capitals here and it has a, uh, a hyphen there as opposed to underscores. Now we can actually set this. Um, what is, what's the convert underscores is false and this should probably break it. I've not actually tried it. Let's see, try it out, execute. It doesn't actually break it, but you notice it doesn't pull it in because the header that we have here is accept dash encoding. It is not accept underscore encoding. And that's what this is doing right here. This is looking for a header. If we do convert underscores is false. It's looking for a header that's called accept underscore encoding. So if we get rid of that and hit that, we refresh our page and we can do it one more time. And there we go. Uh, let's add in one other here. Let's say X token list of strings or none equals header none. And what this allows us to do is it just allows us to um, 
it allows us to pass uh, multiple values. As we've seen before, um, we refresh this page, try it out. Let's see if, the, I don't know if this is going to actually work from here or not. There, it did. The X token values it passed through were foo and bar. And you can see, like we've seen before, it just returns the list of those items from there. Okay, that's kind of it. Um, again, a very short video. Um, there was nothing really, uh, really big to explain in here. Um, this was just showing how you can use cookie and header like we do path, query, body, um, field, things like that. Okay. Um, in the next video, we're going to get back into some actual fun stuff. We're going to be talking about the response model, which um, it's it's a little bit informational, um, but it's it's some stuff that's really going to help with uh, with the docs um, again uh, for for you know for public consumption. Let's say, okay, I will see you in the next video. Well, I won't see you, and you know what I mean. Bye.